Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked to talk about winter florals and I've got plenty of amazing winter florals in my collection so I pulled 10 of my favorites and I'm going to jump right in. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is this one here from Mugler. I think any version of Alien could qualify as a gorgeous winter floral. Um, it's such a unique, heavy jasmine. I love this one though because if I remember correctly, I think this one's got some caramel in it. So this is alien, but add like a really beautiful, sweet, smooth caramel to it. I think the original, just original alien is an amazing winter floral as well. I'll wear alien any time of the year, but I think it's particularly gorgeous in cold weather. I think out of all of the ones that I have tested, I think this is my favorite wintertime version of it, um, just because it's got that beautiful, almost cola-like vibe to it. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. So anyways, that is Mugler Alien. I don't think I told you. A Mugler Alien Essence Absolute. Okay, this next one, this is a Lush fragrance and I really do only wear this one in winter. I think it is a perfect wintertime rose scent and this is Lush Rose Jam. Oh, I love this. Um, this does not have many notes in it at all. It is basically, it's basically like lemon and rose and geranium. It doesn't really have any other notes listed, but this smells so much more complex than that. This really is, the name is so fitting, Rose Jam, because it really is a sweet, decadent, jammy rose. It's kind of heavy, but without being dark. It's warm, it's just perfect. It's an incredible winter rose. Um, I've got a few, yeah, I've got a few, maybe even more than a few, because rose, um, Rose and Jasmine are, those are my two favorite florals, so that's what I've got the most of, Rose and Jasmine. So yeah, you'll, but this is a, a kind of like a brighter wintertime rose, whereas the other ones are, are darker. So anyways, that is Lush Rose Jam. Okay, the next one I have is Givenchy Amarige. This is, I mean, this is just classic. This could be worn any time of year, but it's such a syrupy, sweet, heavy floral that I think it's perfect for colder weather. This has got a ton of notes in it, but it's like a syrupy, sweet, white floral. It's very much like a 90s perfume. Even though it's kind of like vintage-y, it's still very modern smelling, or it's still, it's so classic that it's still, um, it doesn't smell dated, is what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful though, perfect winter floral. I absolutely love it. If you want something that's like Amarige but is a little bit more gourmand leaning, um, then you could go for White Rabbit from Dreamhouse Securio. It, to me, it's like an updated, more modern version with a gourmand twist of Amarige. So anyways, that is Givenchy Amarige. Okay, this next one, this is a Guerlain fragrance. This is Guerlain Insolence. This is the EDT formulation, and this is the most beautiful, heavy, candied violet scent. This is, I have to wear this in cold weather. It's, um, this one is so sweet that if I try to wear this in warm weather, it will make me nauseous <laughs> because it's such a heavy and such a sweet, like, candied violet. I love this. This is for all of us that are like very young at heart, we want to smell like, you know, we don't want to smell like teenagers, but we want to smell like candy. That's what this is, but it's more of a candied floral, so it's not it's like, I don't know. It's, it doesn't smell like candy, candy, but more of like a candied floral. Um, I particularly love this, for, I think this is the original formulation. I don't think there was, yeah, this is the original formulation. Um, I've heard good things about the newer formulations. I've heard that it's still great, um, but I've never smelled the new formulation, so I, I can't really say. But anyways, that is Guerlain Insolence, the EDP formulation. Next, I have a Dior fragrance. This is Dior Midnight Poison. Um, I know you can't get this anymore. You can still find bottles of this on the gray market, though, like on eBay and Mercari. This is such a beautiful, dark, rose and patchouli scent. 
This almost smells like a rose patchouli wine. It's fantastic. Um, you might still be able to find bottles of YSL L, which is also very similar to this. Um, it's not exactly the same, but it is similar. And I've also heard that Duwa has an amazing clone of this fragrance. So if this is one that you're really, really wanting, um, I've heard the Duwa clone of it is really, really good. So anyways, that is Dior Midnight Poison. This next one, my beautiful friend Christine sent this bottle to me um, just recently. This one I've just been waiting for cold weather and it's been here for a while, but I'm definitely pulling this one out now. This is Amouage Journey and this is such a gorgeous, heavy, sweet jasmine fragrance. I love this. This is really, really unique smelling. I've never smelled another jasmine quite like this. So yeah, this one's really syrupy. There's something in here that is causing the jasmine to not smell like jasmine, but I love it. It's syrupy, it's sweet, it's kind of heavy. I think there are spices in this, but I don't get any spice at all. It's really, really smooth. It's just really beautiful. Um, I w I'm definitely going to be wearing this one this week and I'll update you in a what I wore last week video. Hopefully I can articulate it better in that video. So anyways, that is Amouage Journey. Okay, this next one, this is like, there couldn't be a more perfect winter floral than this fragrance. Um, this is YSL Lieb. This is the Intense Formulation and this is Lavender and Orange Blossom mostly orange blossom, but lavender, orange blossom, tonka bean, vanilla. It's sweet. It's got a beautiful brightness to it though, but it's really like honeyed smelling. Gosh, so long lasting. I mean, just perfect. So beautiful. This is one of my favorites. Um, I mean, this would be in like a top five for life. I couldn't live without this scent. I've got every version of Lieb, except for the very newest one. I can't even remember what it's called, but um, the one that looks like it's got almost like a silver colored liquid or like a light purple colored liquid. I can't even remember. But anyways, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect winter floral. So anyways, that is why I sell Lieb Intense. This next one, this is another one that I don't, this is just a perfect, winter floral. This is Izzy Miyake Low to Izzy Absolue. And if you like the original Izzy Miyake Low to Izzy, which is the most beautiful, like light, sweet aquatic scent, that's what Absolue is. But this is like Izzy Miyake if you added like a syrupy, it's honeyed, just like the YSL Lieb is. It's a honeyed fragrance. It's, they've taken the freshness out of the original and made it syrupy. So it's low to easy, but a syrupy version of it. It is fantastic. Oh, sorry, you can see a cat tail here. <laughs> she just got on my lap. So yeah, love this. If you still, if you want a winter floral that isn't rose, that isn't too heavy, um, that is still something that you could even wear in the warmer months, but is just a little bit heavier and a little bit more winter appropriate, this is the perfect scent for you. So anyways, that is Izzy Miyake Low to Izzy Absolue. Okay, and the last two are rose fragrances. Um, so there is no way I could in good conscience do a winter floral perfume video without talking about Gallagher Rosé all day. Um, so I typically start pulling this out in the fall, but this really is a cold weather scent. Um, this does best in very cold weather. This is rose and apple and brown sugar and tonka and let me just read you the notes off the front. Apple crisp, plum, dark rose, brown sugar, tonka bean, and stainless steel. And it really does smell like an incredible dark rose wine is what it smells like. A dark, syrupy, deep rose wine. 
It is fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorite winter florals. I love wearing this in cold weather. It's so cozy and dark and heavy and just perfect for the coldest months of the year. So anyways, that is Gallagher Fragrances Rosé All Day. And then last but not least, I have one that is, this one is similar. I feel like I've talked a lot about this fragrance this winter for some reason. I love this scent. This is our Moff Club de Nuit Intense. Um, you probably most recently just saw this in the video Charlotte just did about fragrances that she hates because she cannot stand this perfume. Um, I absolutely love this. This is, it's also like a dark rose wine kind of smelling fragrance the way that Rosé All Day is but this doesn't have the gourmand aspect. It doesn't have the tonka in it. This really does just smell like a pretty straightforward, deep, dark, sweet rose wine. This is fantastic. It's perfect for winter time. If you try to wear it any other time of year, this would probably make you nauseous because it's such a heavy scent. This is a perfect one for one clone of Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Um, I have a mini of Noir de Noir. I've tested them side by side. It is identical. Um, like as in you can smell your two hands or you smell your two arms and you're not going to smell a difference. So if you like Noir de Noir, oh my gosh, save your money and get Club de Nuit Intense because it is exactly the same thing. So anyways, that is our Moff Club de Nuit Intense. And that is gonna be it guys. Those are 10 winter florals that I am super excited to wear. I'm gonna leave them here so that I can wear through these. Um, and you will see them in a What I Wore Last Week video. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.